One week later... Oh, hey, Sandy. You just missed Dappable Miss Sweetie Belle. They sure have been visiting a lot. They've been worried. Apparently, school is quiet without me. I can believe that. Well, I finished talking with Dr. Stable. He says that if you promise to take it easily, you can come home today. Really? And I was just starting to be able to swallow the mushy green stuff. Maybe they'll let us take some home for you. I bet it'd grow into a new life form in our fridge. So, how's Lightning Blitz? He's been doing real well. He's a bright young boy. Seems happy wherever he is. I'm glad to hear that. You'll be amazed when you see him. Twilight has her hooves full taking care of him. He's full of energy, just like his mother. But I can see him right away, right? I promise you'll see him sooner than you'll think. I miss him. I know. Life's gonna be hard for a little while. For us both. Because of me, right? No, Scoots. You mustn't blame yourself. If anyone should, it's me. So, I want to make things right and do something I should have done a long time ago. Huh? You've been alone for so long, Scoots. And I was blind to the fact. So I want to set things right. But I can't do so without you wanting the same. These are your adoption papers. Completely filled out. They just need a signature. But I can't sign it without knowing what you want. So, Scootaloo, if you'll have me, I'd like to be your mom. Mm. The birthing. End. Sometimes, sometimes my hormones get the best of me, and I don't see things that are obvious around me. And I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm sorry about that. I really am. But I want to be here for you, even if you don't want me to. Because, because no one should have to go through what you're going through all alone. Ah. <sighs> Sleep well, kiddo. <sighs> ha! Been too long. It's good to be back. Good to have you back, Scoots. You look like you're doing well. AKA, you're looking good. Welcome back. So what have you been up to? Glad to see that you're back. I've missed you. So how have you been? Welcome back, Scoot. Everything doing fine? Good to see you again. How's it going? It's good to see you, Scootaloo. Did anything new happen? Oh, hey, Tumblr. Long time no chat. It's been like, what, two months? Wow, Scootaloo. You're looking great. Your mane is as long as Rainbow Dash is now. Hey, Scoot, how's life? Love the sweatshirt, by the way. Where'd you get it? Glad to see you're keeping your mane like that. Could put you on par with Spitfire if you ever try it for the Wonderbolts. I like the hoodie. I love your hairpin. Feeling better, I take it? Also, I really like the mane the way it is now. Oh, thank you. I wasn't gonna keep this look at first, but it's really grown on me. It makes me feel... mature? Like, I'm still a teen, but ready to be a mom. Though, I guess I'm kind of young to be feeling like a mom, even if I am one. At least my birthday is in a few days. That'll help me feel older. How has everything been going with you and Sandy? Also, have you been... going to visit Lightning? How often do you see Lightning Blitz? How's Blitz doing? Welcome back, Scootaloo, and two questions for you. How are you feeling in general, and what's your relationship status with your child? You're not gonna like the full answer. Though, there is good news. 
but let me catch you guys up on what happened these past two months. Back when I was in the hospital, Sandy was able to visit Twilight and Lightning Blitz. It seemed for the time being that we'd gotten him away from Jet Zed and Applecrest. But it didn't take them long to figure out we'd hidden him from them. Before we had a chance to visit him, we were summoned by the courts. We explained our case to the judge and he seemed understanding. However, he feared that I might do something drastic and endanger Lightning's life again. So he agreed to let Lightning stay with Twilight under the condition that I can't visit him until I pass a psychological evaluation. He let us know that if he found any evidence that we'd gone against his word that the consequences would be severe. Sandy is confident we'll win the upcoming case. She's got a good lawyer and the law is in our favor right now. She's also been spending a lot of her free time studying up on equestrian law. So I've been seeing a therapist for a while now, waiting for them to say I'm sane enough to visit Lightning Blitz again. She's been helping me out with a lot of emotional problems I've been having and I feel a lot better because of her. I've actually got another appointment with her tomorrow. I'm hoping it's the one that proves I'm ready to see Lightning Blitz again. I miss him more than I've ever missed anything before. Don't worry. You will see Lightning Blitz. One way or the other. Thanks. I'm sure I'll see him again. I just have to be patient. How goes shedding the mommy weight? Oh, that? I lost it pretty easy, actually. I have an active lifestyle, my doctor says. So just exercising like I normally do made me lose the pounds. Okay, you are back in business with your training, yes? Anything you need to catch up with? Well, I was behind on a lot of assignments because of my hospital stay, but I recently caught up on that. So, Scootaloo, I thought you said that when the baby thing is over, you were gonna kill Raincatcher. Do you have to bring him up? That sounds like something I would say, but no. I'm not gonna find him just to hurt or humiliate him. There's no point, and it wouldn't make me feel better. Even if he does deserve it. Are you looking to date any pony recently? Or are you staying away from boys for a while? I'd rather not date for a while. It's still painful to remember. Besides, everyone in town knows I got pregnant. To them, I'm just that girl that is easy to get with. I'm not gonna let myself be used again. Scootaloo, you poor dear. It must be absolutely dreadful to not be able to see your son. However, I must say that you have seemed to grown up quite a bit in the past two months. I shan't think they will find a reason not to allow you to see him soon. What do you think will be the first thing you do when you can? And once you are older, will you appeal for custody? Uh, the first thing I do is... is hug him. Hug him tight. And then I'd probably cry. And cry a lot. After that, I don't know. Just spend time with him? And I don't know if I'll appeal for custody when I'm older. Maybe. He doesn't have to live with me for me to be his mom, right? Though, I'd like it if he did. As a person who has yearly psychological evaluations, I can tell you that confidence will take you a long way. Remain calm keep a positive outlook on life, and focus on what you want. You'll be seeing lightning bolts again in no time. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. What's it like having Sandy as a mom? Mom, I'm home! Oh, hey sweetie, dinner's almost ready. It'll just be a little while longer. Also, I talked to Psych today. Everything is set up for your meeting tomorrow. So how was school today? She's pretty awesome. Hello again, Scootaloo. Hey, Psych. How have you been? Anything happened since our last lesson? I've been alright. The only new thing is that Tumblr is talking to me again. I see. Are they encouraging at least? I think so. They haven't been bad. Well, that's good. Would you like to continue where we left off last time? 
I suppose that's a good place to start as any. So, you've been thinking about Raincatcher again? Sort of. More like, just when I think I've forgotten him, I get reminded, and then I just feel angry, upset, sad, depressed. Because, because he hurt me, and he left me. I loved him, and then he left. Hmm, it feels you put a lot of emphasis on the fact that he left, more than that he hurt you. Why do you think that is? Because, because of my mom? Because of your mom? I, I don't know. When my mom died, she had no control over that. I realize that, but I miss her. I miss her every single day of my life. But Raincatcher chose to leave me. And, and? Lightning Blitz also left me. Everything I love leaves me. Is that what you think? I don't know. I want you to understand that your feelings are important, Scootaloo. Even if you feel like they are wrong, there is no such thing as a wrong emotion. I want to, you to tell me everything you've been feeling. Okay. You can start whenever you're ready. My mom died when I was seven. She fought with everything she had. But in the end, she died. And when she died, I was all alone. I was left to be taken care of by Sandy. And while she did a good job, I felt, I felt so alone. Nothing Sandy could do would reach me. So I acted out. I got into a lot of trouble for a while. I would be reckless, I would break things, I would look for trouble, all just so I would get dragged back home. I think what I was trying to do... I guess I was trying to get my mom to show up again, to be there to deal with me. But all I ever got was Sandy. I was just a lost little girl looking for her mom. And that helped for a while, but then every pony around me started earning cutie marks. But I couldn't figure out my talent. Everyone was leaving me behind. I was lucky when I got to meet Sweetie Belle and Apple Bloom. With them, I felt accepted. And I was finally able to focus my trouble onto a goal. The goal of finally getting our cutie marks. But to this day, nothing we've tried has worked. And after failing so many times to get our cutie marks, I met Raincatcher, the first boy who ever seemed to care about me. The only one who made me feel truly loved again. Like I was with my mom. And just like my mom, he left me. Left me with the knowledge that I put some hope into someone staying by my side this time. You really cared for Raincatcher, didn't you? I loved that idiot, and all he did was use me. Do you feel that if Raincatcher were to come back and apologize, you'd forgive him for what he's done? I don't know. You don't know? The logical thing to say would be no, right? I mean, he used me, and I believed him. I thought we had something special. I thought we were meant to be. I was happy with him, even if he was a little rough. Even if he loved me to show off. He seemed perfect. If he came back, he'd probably just try to use me again. I'd give myself hope that things would be different, and then he'd just hurt me again. I'd just be abandoned by someone I love, for a second time, and it'd be my, my fault. Maybe if I had been better, if I had been better, no one would have had to leave me. Now, Scootaloo, them leaving you is not your fault. You couldn't have done anything more to prevent them from I leaving. could have! I could have done so much more. All I ever did was stand around and watch as other ponies did things for me. I've never done anything but wait for everyone else to do something. If I had just been a better girlfriend, if I had just been a better mother, if I had just been a better daughter. 
Scootaloo, you need to understand what happened to your mother was completely beyond your control. The doctors in the hospital were doing everything they could for her, and you were only seven years old. No one expected you to do anything more than be by your side, which you did. As for Raincatcher, you said it yourself. He used you. You can't blame yourself for things going wrong when he was never committed to the relationship in the first place. And as for Lightning Blitz, being a first-time mother is never easy, for anyone. Adults will spend years of their lives planning and preparing to have a child, and still not know what to do once they have one. All things considered, the way you handled yourselves during your pregnancy was very matured for your age. You have nothing to be ashamed of from your actions. You're learning the difference of right and wrong, and you've come very far in a rather short amount of time. It takes them ponies years to reach the maturity level you have. <laughs> Thanks. I just... I don't know. It feels like it's the right thing to do. I mean, I know I'm still a kid myself, but I want to be there for lightning, so I have to mature. It's certainly a noble goal, Scootaloo. Though it appears our time is up for today. Already? That seemed like the shortest session yet. Time can certainly fly. Though I feel like we accomplished a lot today. Yeah, I think we did too. You have a shaved trip home, Scootaloo. It just, um... One question before I go. Yes? Do you... Do you think I was good enough to see Lightning Blitz now? Now, Scoots, you know I can't tell you that just yet. You'll know when you can see him again. I know. I guess I was just hoping is all. Thank you, though. I'm sorry, Shrug Cube. I don't know where Apple Bloom is. Oh. Okay. Thanks anyway. So sorry, I don't know where Sweet Belle ran off to in such a hurry. Oh, okay, thanks. I'm terribly sorry, dear. I don't know where Pinkie Pie is. No one knows where anyone is today. I guess it's just you and me today, Mom. At least you'd never forget my birthday. Meanwhile, in Canterlot... Oh, do stop fussing, rising star. I'm almost done. There, now you look simply dashing. You're just so precious, star. I could eat you up. What do you suppose become of the birth mother? Oh, they probably went easy on her despite all those horrible crimes she committed. Whatever she got was too good for her. For the crimes of kidnapping a minor, attempted murder... First-degree murder, perjury, falsifying and tempering evidence, several counts of arson and theft. Scootaloo is sentenced to death. I didn't do it! You've met with an All unfortunate fate. was to Have be a you? good mother! I'm home. Why is it so dark in here? Scoots. Sorry you're not having a good birthday, but I made you a cake. Happy birthday, Scoots. Happy birthday. Wait, it's your birthday? Well, many jubilations on your part. Sorry that you're all alone on this day of all days. It's your birthday? Well then, happy and merry birthday, Scootaloo. Happy belated birthday. It's for your first picture together with lightning. Happy birthday, Scoots. Happy birthday, Scoots, from all of us Anons who are so lazy to log in. Open mine next! Open mine! Okay, okay. <laughs> A card? Gee, I wonder what Sweetie Belle got me. Just open it, you smart butt. You might be surprised. Oh, hey! Free passes to the day spa? I've never been, but sounds awesome. Rarity helped me get them. I figured you could use some relaxation. Ooh, ooh, open this one. It doesn't have a sender. 
Huh? Oh, well, okay. Why not? Oh, hey, it's a new belt for my scooter. I wonder who sent it, though. We might never know, really. Oh, wow! Is this hoof stitched? That was a hell in a hoof basket to make. I hope you appreciate it. I appreciate it, Apple Bloom. I'll be sure to cherish it. Good. Then the thousands of needle pricks on my hoof was worth it. Well then, here's my gift, Scoops. I had it custom made for you, since you like your new look so much. I figured you'd like to wear this around. Thank you, Mom. I love it. I do actually have one more gift for you. I saved it for last. Really? But you already got me such an awesome gift. It's coming out right now, actually. Huh? Hey, Scootaloo. Happy birthday. T Twilight? Light lightning Blitz? But, 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 but I thought... I got your evaluation in the mail yesterday. The courts say you're okay to visit him now. Today is for you after all. So go ahead. Go be with your son. So this is Lightning Blitz? Oh, he's so cute! He looks just like you, Scoots. I forgot you guys hadn't met him yet. So, Sandy, how goes the lawyer hunt? Honestly, terrible. W wait I thought you said it was going well before. It was, then suddenly every lawyer I could find started refusing to take my case. I've been studying the law books too. The law is on our side, and yet all the lawyers I talk to look into the case and then drop the case. I just don't get it. I just don't know what's going on. The case is in three weeks. I have to find someone by then. I'm sorry, Sandy. Look, I... I can help you any way I can. Looking through law books is easy for me. Thank you, Twilight. All of this has just been so stressful. I could use the help. You know, they are rather adorable like that. She's just so young to already be a mother. I know. She literally has her whole life ahead of her. I want her to be able to experience all the joys life can offer. Honestly, I'm glad you're here to help, Twilight. I don't know how we'd be able to handle this without you. W well, it's not like I could leave you two hanging when the doctor brought him to me. I'm happy to help you three, really. Besides, I'm sure you two would just do fine without me. You really don't give yourself enough credit, Twilight. Though it is getting late, Lightning probably needs to get to a real bed soon, huh? Yeah, so I'll give them a few more minutes. Ah! Lightning, no! The camera is not food! Sorry, everyone. He can be a little adventurous at times. What do you need a lawyer for? I thought everything was sorted out. Is it to get Lightning Blitz back? Because Jet said and Uppercrust are suing for custody, I needed the judge's permission to visit Lightning. The case is still on, though. Has Rainbow Dash met Lightning Blitz yet? Yeah, she met him at the party. She seemed to like him. Everyone did, really. He's a bit of a hit now. Savor the moments you have with your son, for in the darkest hour of your life so far, these will be the ones to brighten your day. I will. I know the time I spend with my son is precious. I'll cherish every moment. Keep strong, Scootaloo. Scootaloo, is this Twilight the alternate dimension to your original one? You know, Sandy, I believe Twilight can solve all your legal problems with three simple words. Dear Princess Celestia. Yes, that Twilight is from a different dimension. She has no influence over Celestia here. Besides, Celestia doesn't interfere in private affairs. 
how'd you decide on Lightning Blitz's name? Beyond it being an awesome one, I mean. Hid being awesome was pretty much the deciding factor. Why are you wearing a sweatshirt? Well, a few reasons, really. It looking cool on me being the biggest one. So, any fun plans for you and your little adorable fun ball? Not at the moment, though I suppose there's only three weeks till the trial. I should definitely get in some fun time then. Uh, Scoots? I know this might be a weird question, but what street am I on? Huh? Derpy, this is Market Street. Market Street? But I thought I was... Never mind, thanks! Well, that was weird. Are you sure that was your derpy? I'm pretty sure it was. You can tell if it's someone else usually. At least I have been able to when visiting other tumblers or when they visit me. Well, 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 I didn't expect to see the town whore today. Huh? Then again, this is Market Street. You can pretty much buy anything here, even ponies like you. Diamond Tiara, what the hell are you saying? Oh my gosh, sucking all those dicks really did give you brain damage. Just a little FYI for you, whoring yourself out isn't a real job. But then again, maybe if you could fly, you could actually earn that money. What the fuck? I thought you said you weren't doing this anymore. What are you talking about, slut flank? Four months ago? At my doorstep? I haven't seen you since you cut me through the chalkboard, and I got transferred to the advanced class. What? Well, as lovely as it would be to catch up, I'm going to go before I catch something nasty from you breathing on me. Have fun with your customers, slut flank. The fuck just happened? Did you notice this diamond tiara was thinner than the four months ago one? That one was more fatty or more chubbier than this one. They are not the same Diamond Tiara. What are you talking about? Diamond Tiara was never chubby. The one you're thinking of is from a different universe and nicer than the one from here. Why would she have been at my door? You try to fly yet after losing all the baby weight? Maybe if you could fly... Fly. Try again. Maybe you'll get it right this time, Scoots. Maybe if you flap your wings a little faster, you'll do it. Ever tried the hummingbird approach? You have to, uh, to put it mildly, it's stabbing wing beats per minute. Maybe that would be the best way to gain some air and burn some of that extra junk. I may be no flying expert due to my lack of wings, but I recommend you space out your flapping. Repeatedly flapping your wings in a manner similar to a hummingbird won't get you less than half a meter off the ground. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Hey, kid. What the heck do you think you're doing? Trying to fly. What does it look like I'm doing? Flying looks more like falling. He didn't even take off correctly. Ugh. What? Do you know so much more about flying than I do? Obviously. Uh huh. Fine, so what am I doing wrong? Too much. You need a teacher. Like anybody will be willing to teach me. I'll do it. What, really? Everyone needs a teacher. I'm surprised no one's taught you by now. They've either been busy, thought I was doing fine on my own, or just couldn't teach me. So, where do we start? Alright, I think that's enough for today. Ow, my everything hurts. You're really out of shape, Squirt. I never knew flying was so much hard work. 
How does Fluttershy manage? I wonder that myself sometimes. Uh, hey, if you're not busy, would you like to have dinner at my place? As a way of saying thanks. Mom's making extra anyway since Twilight and Lightning are having dinner with us tonight. Mom? Uh, sure, kid, why not? Awesome! You definitely gotta try Mom's cooking. It's some of the best. Mom, I brought another guest for dinner. Oh, one of your friends? Kinda. She calls herself Factory. She's teaching me how to fly. Oh, really? Well, thank you for helping her out. Life's been hectic, so I haven't had time to find her a tutor. It's not a problem. An earth pony? Is Lightning here yet? He's in the other room. Hey, let me introduce you to Lightning. I seem excited to see him. Cute baby brother. He's my son. He's your son? Don't yell, he's sensitive. You actually swing that way? That's her big concern? I'm not judging, but you seem way too young to be having a kid. Yeah, well, long story short, I had a boyfriend that I loved, and he said he loved me back, but, well, like I haven't heard that before. I knew a traitor like that. Wait, traitor? Yeah, a cult named Orion. Good friend. Then one day he betrayed me for some filly I didn't even know. I suppose we have that in common, huh? At least you didn't end up with a surprise baby, though. Yeah, lucky me. Ooh. Love you too, Lightning. Well, it was nice to meet Lightning, but we still need to focus on what you're doing wrong with your flying. Of course, and I plan to do my very best. Hey, kid, tell your mom the food was pretty good. I'll make sure she knows. Hey, kid, why is your mom, you know, a mud pony? Don't call her that. Besides, she's not really my mom. I'm adopted. Oh, that makes sense. Most Pekersaya community raised after all. Community raised? What's that mean? Exactly what it sounds like. You were raised by everyone and not your parents. It's a Cloudsdale tradition. Pegasi are raised by the flock. Families get in flights and pass on prejudice. Things like that could weaken the flock. But that's not important. It's getting late. See ya, kid. One week later. Alright, Squirt, we covered all the basics this last week. <sighs> There's not much else for me to teach you that isn't you just working hard at flying. You can maintain a flight, but there's more being to Pegasus than just flying. That's why I've set up this course to you. This is the standardized Cloudsdale flying course. All Pegasi are required to pass it. All you have to do is clear the clouds, fly through the hoops, and do a dive. Think you can handle it? Sounds easy enough. Then get to it, kid. So, how'd I do? I hate to say it, kid, but you failed. What? That's why no one's taking my case. Yes, it is, and any lawyer in the right mind would decline as well. I believe what you are experiencing is known as a legal logout. In other words, they pay lawyers to turn down your case. No, they aren't being bought off. Apparently those two bought a lawyer that not only doesn't lose cases, but has a vicious reputation. They refuse to defend against them. Day before the trial. <sighs> Hey, Mom, I know you're busy, so I got the meal for you. Oh, thank you, sweetie. 
Bill. 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 Huh? A letter from Warden? Dear Sandy, I heard you were having trouble finding a lawyer, so I called in a favor. He will meet you at the courthouse tomorrow. Oh, thank you, Celestia. Morning of the trial. All right, sweetie, I'm off to court. Be good while I'm gone, okay? Okay. You'll win, Mom, I know you will. I certainly hope so. Guess I should do something to pass the time. Hey, what are you doing just sitting out in the rain? Was this part of the plan? Nope. Well, at least make the intros easier. Not really. Better say something, she's getting a bit tense. Come on, you need to get inside before you catch a cold. That's your cue. Just be honest with her. You're a good kid and I know that you'll set things right. I hope you're right. Mom, I'm home. Huh. I think she's not home. Guess it's just us for now. Here, try yourself off. Hey, uh, you hungry? I'm not as good as mom, but I can make a sandwich or something. Yeah, the taking off the sweater, the towel, and the ponytail is totally helping in this situation. All right, I've set up the couch. You should be fine sleeping there tonight, right? Am I okay with that? Maybe. If only I didn't have dinner waiting at home. Maybe if I don't speak, she'll go away. I suppose I can't blame you for not saying a word since we got here. Would make it easier if you talked, though. Ooh, boy. Um, yeah. I'm just surprised is all. Surprised? Yeah, because of after all that, you know. I didn't think you'd actually be willing to see me. Yeah, well, we've both been through a lot recently, haven't we? I'd argue me more than you, but I've been where you are right now. Oh yeah, you with your mom. So, how'd the court case go? Well, I somehow managed to get proven innocent. I couldn't hurt another pony like that after all. So now I'm free to be with lightning, but that's all I want. Th that's good. I knew you were innocent. Did you now? I wouldn't be surprised if you thought I'd done it. Well, that's a bit harsh. Maybe we don't like each other, but I don't hate you like that. Don't like each other? Suppose that's a good way to put it. Though that's exactly why I wouldn't be surprised if you thought I'd done it. Some kind of revenge for leaving me with the mess you left my life in. The court certainly tried to use that against me. Life hasn't exactly been fair for me since you left it, you know. Okay. Well, when you put it that way, it does sound like the perfect revenge plan. One that I truly deserve. What's that envelope for? It's for you. You need it more than I do. Wait, what? I kind of fell into some money, so, yeah. But still, it's not enough to pay you back for what I did. Nothing will. I made a mistake. I ran from it, and worse still, I blamed it all on you. Like I was the victim. And I was wrong. It took two deaths to finally get me to realize that. To realize how much of a coward I am. How much of an idiot I am. I was stupid to put a price on you to treat you like a point in a game, and to leave you when you needed someone? Is there a point to this? I feel like you're trying to apologize dramatically, and it's not working. It's not working? Hmm. I can't believe I fucking did that. Oh my god. Uh, th th oh my freaking god, what am I doing? This was a bad idea to do this. Wow, I look like an even bigger prick. Fuck, I'm just so sorry. Oh fuck, I'm so sorry. Ugh!
Okay, okay, just stop for a moment, I can't breathe. Look, I... I know you're trying to apologize, but I'm not ready to forgive you for everything you've done. So much has happened in the last year, and one apology isn't going to make up for all that. But I have been waiting for you to say that for a long time now. I don't think we'll ever be what we were before, but maybe we can be friends, and you will always be Lightning's father. So let's start here, okay? But it's pretty late. We should probably get some sleep. Good night, Raincatcher. Good night. Meanwhile... And that's what happened, Twilight. I can't make heads or tails of it. I'm not sure what it could be. I'm not too familiar with dimensional instability. And there's really not a whole lot of books on the subject matter. I know what you mean. I've read plenty of fantasy books on the subject, but nothing about how it works in real life. There must be something... Well, how about we search the library? See what we can come up with. That's a start, I suppose. Let's check everything we can. A few hours later... Anything yet? Nothing. Oh, we're getting nowhere. Well... I do know one option. What's that? We could call the doctor. He knows a lot more about this kind of thing than I do, but... Wait, if he can help us, why haven't we asked him yet? Because that's just it. All people ever do is ask him to fix the problems for them. I don't want to do that to him. But if he's the expert, he might know the only way to fix this. How about this? Rather than asking him to fix it for us, he tells us how we can fix it. That way, if it happens again, we won't have to bother him. Actually, that sounds like a good idea. And it has been a while since I last saw him. See, everyone wins. We just need to teach us, and we won't bother him for this again. Alright, here goes. Twilight, I came as quick as I could. Is everything alright? Yes, yes, everything is fine for the most part. We were hoping you could help us with something, though. Help you? With what? One explanation later. And as you can see, we've been looking for a way to fix this, but we can't find anything. So we called you to see if you could help. So, let me get this straight. You called me here so I could fix your problem? Actually, no, that's not why we called you here. Wait, what? Twilight told me that you're an expert on these kinds of things. So we called you here so you could teach us how to fix this kind of problem. If you do that, we won't have to bother you ever again about it. You... you don't want me to just fix it? Exactly. I know how hard it is for you to always be asked to fix things. So we want to learn how to fix it ourselves instead of relying on you. All right, sure. I'll teach you how to fix it. All right, the first thing we need to do is figure out what kind of problem it is. Hmm, these readings are... What is it, Doctor? I think your problem is about to happen again. Wait, really? Look in front of us. Did you see that? The flower pot is now a vase. Whoa! I would have totally missed that if you hadn't pointed it out. It seems a large energy source is causing miniature holes throughout the dimensional timeline. Holes? Imagine if your dimension was a sheet of paper, and someone took a hole punch and started making holes randomly on it. Two things trouble me, though. The first being that the holes aren't the same size, they vary from small to large. Life if instead of just a hole punch, they varied the holes between the size of the needle to the size of a cookie cutter. The other is that the surrounding dimensions surrounding this one are trying to fill in the holes to make it stable. So it's creating conflicting results all along the timeline. I think I understood the gist of that, but how do we fix it? 
It's impossible for you to fix it. I have to be the one to fix it. What do you mean, impossible? We didn't call you here to impose on you. This is something beyond your grasp. There's no way you could muster up the amount of magic it'd take to fix this, or even know how to control that much magic. So, what happens now? The TARDIS is already fixing what it can. However, it can only fix the problems that are relatively nearby in space and time. It's a solution for the problem at hand, but not any that will appear in the future. To do that, I'll have to find the source. But everything is going to be okay? Yes, when you get back home, everything should be back to normal. But there's still the chance that the holes will keep popping up. I'm sorry, Doctor. I didn't mean for you to be fixing our problems. It's okay, Twilight. I know you wanted to do this on your own. Okay, now just move your arm like that. No, 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 like that. There you go. Now just hold that there. See? It's not that hard. You just need to be careful. I, uh, just stay like this? Pretty much. He usually stops when he's full. I can tell you're nervous. It's my first time holding a baby, okay? Oh, uh, is he done? Looks it. Want to try burping him? I, uh... Now just gently pat his back. Uh. Yeah! Uh, what's that smell? Take a wild guess. Uh... I'll get it! Of course you will. Yes, hello? Can I help you? There you are! You didn't come home last night! Do you know how worried I was? And why are you at Scootaloo's house? M mom is is that really you? What? Of course it's me. What's gotten into you? You're acting like you've seen a ghost. I'm sorry. I just... I thought you were gone for some reason. Gone? Why would you think that? It's fuzzy, but I think it was a nightmare. It just felt so real. Well, I'm not gone. I'm right here. It was just a dream, okay? Okay. Though you still haven't explained to me why you're at Scootaloo's house. Oh. Uh. It's complicated. So this is Lightning, my grandson. Yeesh, do I f suddenly feel really old. Still, I'm really glad to see you two getting along again. I know my son can be a hard head, but thank you for putting up with him. Well, he is the father after all. As long as he's willing to take responsibility, I'm willing to put up with him. Gee, thanks. Well, I certainly promise that I'll come visit and help out with my grandson too. But right now I should be at work. Come on, Rain. We need to head out. We'll see you around, Scootaloo. Oh, okay. Okay. Later. <laughs> In fact, she was such a great flyer that she was the second youngest pony to ever join the Wonderbolts. This picture was taken when she set the cloud clearing record. She always loved to brag about that one. And here, Here's me with my mother when I was about your age. She had to drop out of the Wonderbolts to have me. But she always said she never regretted that decision. I know you would have loved her, Lightning. And she would have loved you, too. Huh? You're absolutely right. She would have loved you both with all her heart. So, Scootaloo, I have an odd question. What do you remember happening at the custody hearing? Oh, custody? You were there, weren't you? Well, yes. But someone else who was there told me something weird. 
and I wanted to see if you confirmed it. Well, I was at home when an officer came to the house and said I was needed. Then I got up to the court and saw Jet Stab Nepogrest. Everyone yelled at each other for a bit. Then the court ruled in our favor, and I asked Jet Set and Uppercrest if they wanted to be his godparents. That's all? Was Pokey Pierce there at all? Pokey? No, he wasn't there. Why do you ask? No reason, I guess. That must mean the court case still happened, but the circumstances changed. And the end results were the same, though. It's confusing, but everyone seems to have ended all right. I guess I'm just having to trust the doctor. <sighs> huh? Oh, right. Raincatcher gave me a letter. This better not be an apology letter. It's a bit late for that. <gasps> yes, hello, what is- What the hell is this? A check for practically a million bits? Is this some kind of joke? No, it's not. I came into a lot of money and I'm giving it to you. If you cash it, you'll actually get that money. I... I... I can't possibly accept this much money. I wouldn't feel right. We'll... we'll split it. Uh, you can have half of it back. That's already half of it. What? I got nearly two million bits and a check. I gave you half of that to you. Do you not want it? Uh, all right. I guess I'll take it then. Thank you, Rain. You're welcome. Motherly Scootaloo Season 2, end. <laughs>